of the group say they will be on the streets for three consecutive days to drum home the message to fix illegal mining menace. Let's speak to Oliver Bakavomomo. He is leader of the group. Thank you for your time here on Newsdex. You want the lands minister to resign or be removed? Oliver, you have to unmute for me so that I can hear you clearly. We're just getting a better sense yeah, of yeah, some hello, of the key demands. Yes. You want him removed or resign? So one of the, the things we are asking for is that unless for us to be able to find a way in terms of the environmental conversation we are having and the urgent crisis we are facing, there has to be some accountability taken at the highest level. Mm -hmm. And those individuals who have been in charge of the Republic's key institutions about fighting the problem and claiming to leading the process ought to take the step by stepping aside to resign you or be removed. Unless those who have been part of the problem can take that accountability, accountable measures for themselves, then all the things we are doing, irrespective of what we are demanding for, is not going to happen. They cannot be part of the national framework for setting up a conversation about how we solve, provide solutions. The pro we cannot ask the problem for solutions. And so those who are part of the problem, all we are asking for is that they, they take the initiative and, and resign. And, and this is why we are mapping on this demonstration. When would you hit the streets and what areas will you likely cover? Is it around the country? So what we are, the, the, the protest is happening in Accra mm. uh, at the Revolutionary Square, which is opposite the Jolobi House. Uh, we are expecting that people will show up on the 21st of September to the 23rd, which is the Monday of, of, of September. Now, we have done all the legal requirements that is required, we've notified the police, and all that is set. All we are taking steps now in these few days is to prepare a framework where we can continue to keep protesters safe, providing water, providing them access to all medical needs that they will have during the process, but also, importantly, setting up a framework for where people can come and engage protesters and tell them about what the problem is. So educational activities during the three-day process. Mm. We know that members of democracy have, to a large extent, are young people. What does this mean for the youth when it comes to getting up and rising for their rights? So one of the things we can, we can agree to is that there's a groundswell of a lot of organizations talking about. Organized labor is demanding a, a complete ban on mining for us to take stock and then see how we can put up a framework. The Auditor General's report shows that the EPA lacks the, the capacity to be an environmental steward. What? And so it makes no sense to continue to be giving mining licenses when there's no capacity to be able to enforce the environmental measures that we claim to have. Now, the key constituent whose futures are most affected by what is happening is young people. The, the Constitution talks about the environment as an intergenerational legacy we ought to leave for posterity. So those of us whose legacy has most at risk must show the same sense of urgency in demanding reform to better protect our future. And that's why we are appealing for young people to get involved in the conversation. So it is not an elite, an elite driven process, but that it has grassroots or young people resonance when they are lies and they understand that they are part of the conditions and the actors who must speak up.